So hey, it's a new day. Um, we did math so long she got it. Yay! <laughs> I was at a breaking point. But you know, when it comes down to it and you feel like the load is too heavy, you have to ask for help and my daughter reminded me that. And she showed me the hard work that it takes, right? And um, it's funny what kids can teach us, remind us. Because I was like, man, I need help at work. And lo and behold, everybody came out and did all the work I normally do. And <laughs> shit, I've even been given money today. I was given a free energy drink today. I was, I don't know, little gifts here and there just to remind me, keep up the faith, pray. I think a lot of us forget how strong prayer is. You know, and that it's necessary, especially when we're going through hard times. We have to um, not give in to that aspect of, I just don't want to do this anymore. And when you can make yourself keep getting up, you know. I still get up every morning and force myself to work out. I still have my mornings to myself and try to unwind slowly before the day gets chaotic. And it doesn't matter how much dark energy is sent my way because it's, it's funny, you can feel it. And I had to remind myself yesterday to put that back out into the universe, transmute that energy into love and light to be reused again for this planet. You know, because there's a lot of people that we've all been hurt. I can't even say a lot of people. We have all been hurt. Especially when we're young, you know. Nobody understands us. We're not allowed to explain ourselves. Um, we feel like we're alone. It feels like there's no one to talk to. Even when we have friends, a lot of times it's like we're still alone in that room. You know, because... Each person's going through their own thing, and I think people forget this, that in those moments, you have to turn to the higher power. And as children, I think it's hard for a lot of children to believe in something greater because they look at the burdens of their parents and they see the struggles of the household and or they're very entitled, whatever scale it is, you know. But I think that um, we have to come back to remembering that we can persevere, that we can heal. And those that send out the um, negative energy, the toxic vibes, the energy vampire, the, the nasty devilish energy, those are people that want something free in life. And I don't know if anyone taught you nothing in life is free you know my daughter even told me stop working so hard slack like everyone else but that's not me and my mom was standing there and she said she wasn't raised like that your mom has a better work ethic than that and like I reminded her I'm not going to change who I am as a person I'm not going to lessen my standards because other people have lower standards it, it, it doesn't work that way. When you're a person that has integrity and you've been taught with morals and values, you don't just disregard those when the going gets tough. That's actually when they empower you the most. And yes, I've been praying a lot. And last night I said, oh, this is me doing it all alone. And even my son has stepped up and said, what do you need help with? And he's building a relationship with my daughter again. And it's really nice to see my son and my daughter healing. They had a lot of um, past trauma from the way that they were around their dad. And then how things went between them after he was gone. And there was a lot of a blame game. And... Um, Honestly, it's taken him joining the military and going off and him being taught certain things that have helped him become more patient and understanding and admirable in his pursuits of what he's trying to achieve. So 
with one growing up, it's helped the other grow up. And she's healing more and more each day. And that, for any parent, is like almost like the the Grinch his heart grew two times that day you know and just I'm I'm here to remind you don't forget to pray don't forget to um, reach out to that higher power it doesn't matter how deep in the darkness you are it even states in the Bible that I have not turned my back away from you you have turned from me and all it takes is for you to turn around and I will reach back out don't forget that that there is always unconditional love and forgiveness and a graciousness in our spirit and that comes from the higher power but you can't dabble in one way being toxic and expect to walk in the light of um, gifts and abundance and love you can't have both. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. If you want to go around and use people, some people you might be able to use, but you never know who you're dealing with. So it's just a reminder, no matter how dark and hardened your heart is, you can always get on your knees and pray. You can always change your ways. <clears throat> and if you're going through the darkness, just remember the lights inside of you. You know, and sometimes you've got to be cracked open because that's how the light can get out for the rest of the world to see. So, get to healing. Get to going back to love. Go back to forgiveness, understanding, and accept that we're not all the same. We all have different gifts. We're all here for a different reason. And we all have the ability to raise one another up just like we have the ability to destroy one another emotionally mentally verbally physically but we're better than that aren't we we're all way better than that so give yourself credit for the divinity within you and um, on that note i'm going to enjoy the rest of my lunch and talk to you later peace love and light bye bye